Welcome, welcome, welcome um, to yet another, unfortunately, virtual edition of, of Promcom. Hopefully, maybe next year will be different. Um, so let me see. Oh, you have it. Perfect. So um, there is a little bit of housekeeping, but there's a little bit, uh, there's a lot of, of, of mental keeping. <laughs> um, not not to start on a, on a bad note. Actually, I, I want to end the initial intro on an uplifting note. Yet, um, I do think that we need to acknowledge that, that the last few months were complete and other horseshit, and it's just not good. Um, if you're one of the few who are vaccinated, you're highly privileged. Myself, I don't even know when I get the shot, but um, even that means I'm privileged because I live in Germany. And I'm pretty much before most others. Um, the COVAX scheme will run into 2023. Uh, that's the current planning. So just to give you a rough indication of how long others will get to wait for something where they have no chance of, of bypassing. Uh, it's horrible. Which means uh, please reach out to your friends, family, co-workers, especially if they're in regions which are not yet uh, vaccinated, especially if they're in hard hit regions like India or Brazil or so. Because um, it's super easy to forget in, in the daily life once your own life starts reopening um, that others are way worse off. And even if they're vaccinated, even if they're in, in a country which, which already has all, all the vaccines and everything, it's still quite likely that they took a hit from this time. So yes, please reach reach out to them. Switching to things which feel somewhat mundane. Um, we do have a code of conduct. We follow this and we follow it quite seriously and aggressively. Um, also, if you, if you, well, it's not so much a concern here, but if, if your question becomes more of a statement, it will be shut down. <laughs> In case anything goes bad on this platform, um, there is a document which will, will be used for as a, as a kind of watering hole um, in case anything breaks. So I also tweeted this uh, a few minutes ago, um, so you have that link. Uh, we'll also share it in chat and such, um, so it's just making its rounds. Um, yeah, and that's more or less it. So let's walk through what we'll have today. Um, I can actually reshare. Uh -huh. Or maybe I can't. Genius. So, um, right after um, this this initial session, uh, we will have someone who will talk about uh, it's me. Um, I'll talk about how to make Prometheus as as a wider ecosystem more open. Um, there is a several bits and pieces which should be super interesting. There is also a pretty big press announcement today. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, Julius will be talking about compatibility testing because um, more and, as more and more people um, or vendors and projects get into into the Prometheus ecosystem, it becomes more and more uh, important that we as as the upstream project actually ascertain that users get the same experience and features and everything throughout uh, the complete ecosystem. Uh, Peter will be talking how how we how we at Grafana Labs that's different we um, migrated Cortex uh, to the uh, to basically what is the Thanos storage backend which was a huge undertaking on our end and it was uh, quite good and kudos to the Thanos people. Then we have Bartek and Anes um, who will be talking about automating and how how all of this can be done with uh, Prometheus in the background. Then we have something new, which is a sponsored keynote um, that will be uh, led by, by Red Hat. But we, we looked at the topic, so this isn't this this will not be a pitch. It's just a technical session which is coming through through um, this mechanism. Then observability for air conditioners. As someone who is uh, <laughs> who built a data center right before doing this. Oh, sorry, I just got uh, poked in the background. Um, so that's a different that's a different uh, aspect of of how to do uh, of how to do HVAC and and industrial control systems through um, through the Prometheus ecosystem, but also a super interesting one. Then we have Tom, who will also be talking about uh, all the 
compatibility and, and conform and compliance things. Uh, this time from the Prometheus Remote Right Angle, um, where we recently uh, published a specification. So we now have a, a real uh, hard uh, stable version of, of Prometheus Remote, uh, Prometheus Remote Right, not this experimental for years, uh, which will also A, allow us this conformance testing, and B, it will allow us to, um, to actually start iterating on top of what we currently have. Of course, we're nailing down what we have without taking the experimental um, guarantees away. Um, then we have Matthias, who will be talking about ConProf and how to leverage Prometheus for, or the Prometheus TSDB for ConProf. Uh, in case you don't know, that's continuous profiling. Uh, that is another super interesting um, topic. Then we have Bjorn, who will be talking about new histograms. Um, as most of you will know, we have um, hard uh, boundaries or buckets for uh, for histograms. Uh, they're relatively low resolution, which has super nice properties in widely distributed fleets. But it's also not super nice if you want to drill down into a specific subsample or into a specific tiny bucket or tiny for some value of. But Tom uh, Byrne will be talking about all of this. Um, there's also a super interesting design document out. I hope you'll link to it else. We can do it in the chat. Then we have, uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, practice that name, Shreyas, I hope, and Gibbs, uh, who will be talking about um, how to use AIML <laughs> to, uh, to actually predict what would be good um, um, recording rules for, for your Prometheus system. And then at the end we have uh, David, oh, not at the end, we have David uh, talking about how to do meta monitoring, which is, uh, who guards the guardians, uh, another super interesting thing. Then we have another uh, sponsored keynote, but again, it will not be a, a, a stupid sales pitch, uh, expect technical content. And then we have the great tradition of lightning talks. Um, let me check, yeah, I can, I mean, you can read it yourself, you probably already read it yourself. Um, we we'll, we'll, uh, we crammed as many as many lightning talks into into the thing as we could as per usual unfortunately this time's not with, with writing in but that will soon resume then you'll see this sack of potatoes again and at the end we have a birds of a feather session where we can just have an open discussion uh, about everything prometheus and non-prometheus and in particular how if you have a not exactly greenfield deployment and you have lots of old stuff as well, how to integrate all of this and, and how to take the pain of, of not having Prometheus in all the places away. And I mean, honestly, um, in any non-tiny company, you always have at least two systems for, for most things. Um, so this is just reality. So one minute 32 too early. I, I think I'll just head over back to the, to the waiting room unless I get any last minute pointers. I see typing. Ah, you need to register for, for the buff. Okay, that's a good point. I don't know if that's actually possible, uh, but we, like, I don't know if it's possible yet or at the moment. Uh, we can also figure this out through chat while, while we have this session. So yeah, uh, 40 seconds to go. So I'll just stop babbling um, and see you in a few. Thank you.